This is Chris Bedagos. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Bedagos. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my WWE Monday Night Raw J uh, February 20th, 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about Monday Night Raw. Now we are really on the road to WrestleMania. This is the night after Elimination Chamber. So yeah, I already discussed about Elimination Chamber and everything. So yeah, you could go check out my reviews for that. But yeah, here we go discussing about Monday Night Raw. And yeah, we kick off the show with Sami Zayn. Now I'm sorry if you hear music in the background. I know that. Uh, but yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the show kicks off with Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn comes out and he, he was talking about how he feels so many feelings. But the one feeling that comes up to... Uh, to him the most is gratitude and that's for the crowd and everything for standing behind him to try to take down the blow line and everything so yeah that's what uh, Sami Zayn was talking about how he was doing everything in front of his family and now all that stuff but then he says that he wants to call out Kevin Owens Kevin Owens then comes out and him and Kevin Owens starts talking. Sami Zayn was talking about how he really uh, he knows that Kevin Owens has been upset with him and everything, but he wants to thank him for uh, what happened at Elimination Chamber for coming out and helping him and all that stuff. And he says that he knows that Kevin Owens can't take it down the bloodline all by himself, or he can't take down the bloodline all by himself. So he says that Kevin, would you team up with me to help me take down the bloodline? And Kevin Owens starts explaining why he helped Sami Zayn, and he looks at him and goes like, "Look." I said after Survivor Series that I would never be around you and help you out again. I already said that, and I'm standing by it even today. So, yeah, that's what he was saying. And he says that here's the reason why I helped you out, why I helped you from a beating at Elimination Chamber. He said because you, for instance, couldn't, couldn't um, help me out by getting beat down at the Royal Rumble. So yeah, that's what Kevin Owens was talking about, how Sami Zayn stood back and everything for him to get beat down, but he says that he couldn't do the same at all. He said that uh, Sami Zayn stood back at the Rumble, watched him get beat down and everything. His family was at front row, but they was watching it on TV and they seen everything about it and he was upset about that. But then he said that Sami Zayn had his family sitting in the crowd and everything and he don't want Sami Zayn's family to go through the same thing that his family did. And that's why he came out and helped Sami Zayn fight off the bloodline. So yeah, that's what Kevin Owens was talking about, but he says that, you know, that with taking down the bloodline and everything, he says that Sammy could go ask Jay for help. So yeah, that's what he said. And then he walks out the ring. And then Sammy Zayn starts walking out the ring, you know, um, saying thank you to the crowd and everything, has back turn, and then all of a sudden he gets attacked by behind by Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin starts beating him down and everything. Sami Zayn was fighting back and everything. It was during the commercial break, but you can still see it and everything. So yeah, both of them was just brawling and stuff, but Baron Corbin takes him down. He goes into the ring, grabs the mic, referees and stuff, trying to help up Sami Zayn. And then uh, Baron Corbin starts talking a lot of crap to Sami Zayn, talking about how he's nothing, how he was, the, how Baron Corbin was the one that pinned Roman Reigns in 2019, and he was the last one to ever do that, while Sami Zayn would never beat Roman Reigns at all. And that's what Baron Corbin was saying. Sami Zayn had enough. He asked Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce allowed him to go down there. Sami Zayn runs down there, starts beating down Baron Corbin, clotheslines him over the top rope and everything. And then the match finally starts. Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin one on one. And it was an okay match. Sami Zayn bringing out a lot of moves that we haven't seen him do in a while and stuff during this match. And Baron Corbin was doing pretty good going after Sami Zayn's back and everything, ripping off his shirt and all that stuff, just beating him down. But then he throws him to the turnbuckle, beating some down stuff. Baron Corbin runs straight to the turnbuckle and all of a sudden as soon as he turns around he gets hit with the Huluva kick by Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Sami Zayn defeated Baron Corbin tonight on Raw. That's what happened. For that match, I'll give it two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was an okay match to kick off the show. I'll give the whole segment that. That segment, what happened, and the match and all that stuff. That's why I'll give it. So yeah, pretty good stuff right there. But up next, we're going to be seeing the Judgment Day get in, getting interviewed up next. Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio. That will be happening up next. Not only that, we'll see Austin Theory defending the United States Championship up against Edge later on tonight. And Seth Rollins versus The Miz later on tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then.